Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the GDB review for ESP32 JTAG debug. So, in previous video, we have discussed about the Open OCD, and we run the Open OCD on our computer and connect to the ESP32. Now it's time for the GDB. Okay. So for the GDB. We have two questions. The first one is, what's the GDB? The second one is, what we can use it for? Okay, how the GDB will work for us? Okay, so first, let's take a look our uh, let's take a look at the wiki for the GDB. So the GDB full name is GNU Debugger. Okay, it is a portable debugger. It is a portable debug. It runs on many systems and work for many language, like the C, C plus plus, and Object C. Okay. So when you run the GDB, the interface will be like this. It will show the GDB here. It will show the GDB here. Okay. So the GDB was first. Introduced by this man, okay. This man. It ah uh, the first uh, year is this year, so many years ago, many years ago. It ran under the GPL license. Under the GPL license, it is a free software. It is a free software. Now it's controlled by the Free Software Foundation. It's a uh, is under the Free Software Foundation control. Okay, so what's the feature of the GDB?、Uh, what the GDB can do for us? Okay, so the GDB it can tracing and altering the execution of the computer program. We can monitor and modify the value of the program. Variable, okay. It even can call the functions independently, okay. The GDB running lots of process like the famous ARM, AVR, and MIPS, and Power PC, okay. So the GDB is still being developed it after the ah.、Uh, Version seven, ah,、uh, it it supports for the re reversible debugging. It means when we have the when we have some crashed it program, ah,、uh, we can step back to find what caused the crash to lay to locate the ah、uh, crash position. To locate the position which caused the、uh, uh, program crash. Okay, so this is a very important feature. And another feature is it can do the remote debugging,、uh, like our ESP32, the GDB running on the host, and our call running on the ESP32, running on the chip. And through the USB and PCI or Ethernet, we can debug the call on the ESP32. So it called the remote debug. Okay. For the remote debugging, it has a GDB server. The D GDB server, uh, it running on the same on the same system. Okay, it running on the same system as the program. To be debugger, okay. So it will allows the、uh, GDB to connect from another system. In our case, is computer, okay. So this is the GDB server, the GDB server, okay. So it also、um, for the GDB self itself, ah,、uh, it did it does not, ah,、uh, it does not have. One graphic user interface, 
default to a command line interface. Command line interface will be like this. Sometimes uh, you will find the command line interface even more convenient for our debugging. It will be more convenient for our debugging. So we will show the command line interface debug in the future videos. Okay. But you still can use the graphic user interface by using the like uh, Eclipse and Visual Studio, some other tools uh, to interface with the GDB. Okay, to interface with the GDB. In some situation, uh, we have to use the command line interface. Okay. Okay. So this is a user interface, but inside the GDB, how the GDB work? Okay, the GDB is used a system call named P P trace to observe and control other processor. Okay, basically it is include the command like this start start, attach, PID, stop, continue, information, register. All the command for all the processor in different system is the same, okay? All the command is the same. Once you know how to control the GDB for ESP32, you also can, uh, you also can run the same command for the GDB on other system for other CPU or for other chips, okay? So this is a command for the GDB and uh, some example command is here. The GDB also can program the software for the chip, can program the software for ESP32. So if you use the GDB in Linux, uh, we will uh, need to edit one option for the GCC to compile. After you compile it, you can use a GDB like this to debug it. Okay, so to debug it. So this is for the Linux. How about for our ESP32? Okay, ESP32. So for ESP32, uh, in the future, uh, in the future video, we will explain every step and every detail about the important command for the GDB, okay? So uh, this is for this video, this is a, a GDB review video. I'm Michael, and uh, see you next time.